Hey, Phantom Maniacs, and welcome to Rocksteady Wednesday. I'm just kidding, that's not really a thing. Uh, I mean, I guess it is, because it's Wednesday, and we're looking at Rocksteady from Super 7's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimate's toy line. One of the best lines going today, in my opinion. Let's get this guy out of the box. By the way, this thing is heavy. Like, heavy, heavy. Uh... This is going to be a big, bulky action figure, and I love it. All right, let's cut through our protective bag here and get this old guy out of this box. I'm very excited. I love the villains. Uh, well, I mean, that's the great thing. I think that's one of the magical things about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is a lot of times the villains are more interesting than the good guys. But here, everybody's a mutant, uh, except for poor old April O'Neil, and they're all exciting. Got the cool manhole cover on the front with Rocksteady. Uh, I've got the machine gun barrel on either side. Nice purple coloring. Ninja Turtles logo on the back. Let's uh, take a look. Get that slip cover off. Oh my gosh, he is huge. So this is interesting. Uh, I guess we'll find out in a minute. But it looks like he did not come with an alternate head. Which uh, all of the other figures in this line, trusty 1964 box cutter. Oh, wait, before we get to his lack of alternate head, we've got to read the biography. Rocksteady, mutant GI Mauler and Shredder's number one thug. Rocksteady's tough rhino body makes him a turtle bashing powerhouse. What he lacks in brain is made up in brawn. This mutant mammal is big trouble with his retro mutagen gun. One shot can level a whole building or a shelled turtle. Off-duty, Rocksteady loves to fry up a mess of juicy turtle burgers for the whole Hungry Foot Clan. Rocksteady's field glasses survey the area for anything that looks like a turtle. He's mistakenly blasted six soccer balls. This G.I. Rockhead blatantly displays his victory kills with the turtle scouts he wears around his belt. Interesting that the uh, military machine gun guy is a cook, much like G.I. Joe's own roadblock. I wonder if there's any parallel there or if that's just circumstantial uh, coincidence. He actually, you know, kind of has roadblocks look a little bit, you could say, just from having the military pants and the tank top. I think it's very interesting he does not include an extra head. And I guess it's because... Well, Bebop was huge too, though. Uh, but this head looks great, so I really don't... You know, it doesn't bother me. And honestly, so far, I'm just using... <laughs> so far, I'm just using one head on each of the Turtles figures. But no, seriously, so far I've been using the default heads on pretty much everybody. So, not a big deal. Um... He just needed to be big and giant and monstrous. And it uh, looks like they've pretty much achieved that. Although I can immediately see uh, something that I perceive to be a problem. Your mileage may vary, but unfortunately Bebop had the same problem. And if you watched the Bebop review, then you already know what I'm talking about. Well, if you watch the Bebop review and you're paying attention and looking at what I'm doing, which I don't blame you if you're not, because I got to tell you, pulling the accessories. First of all, I hate this tape. This tape is the worst. It, it sticky. Ugh. Stop with the tape. Just make your trays so that the stuff sits in it really snugly. Hasbro's doing it with the Classified Series. Super 7 should be able to do it with the Ultimate. Come on, big guy. There we go. All right. Now, do we have a hinged mouth? No, no hinged mouth? That's a little surprising. So, let's take a look at what we do have with Rocksteady. Uh, first of all, he looks phenomenal. I'm, I'm not trying to bag on this figure at all. He looks incredible. Uh, we've got, you can see the nice shoulder joints, no bicep swivel, uh, but it's just because he's got these big, giant, thick arms. He's got a pretty good range up here. Always be very, very careful with this stuff, though. Like, 
anytime you're moving joints for the first time, you know, maybe you want to heat everything up just to be safe. Maybe you want to toss it in the freezer first. Obviously, uh, that would be an impediment to me doing unboxing videos. So I don't do that. Gosh, I really love, look at the metallic color on his helmet. And then his goggles, which are a darker painted green uh, with the black lenses on top. I love this metallic green on his helmet, though. That looks really nice. Uh, his little ears poking out. Uh, the beady little red eyes. He looks great. He looks fantastic. He's got a nice, good range of movement on that head. Uh, very, very happy with that. Uh, and then the elbows, single jointed. Uh, with ratcheting joints and nice swivels there. Big, thick discs that, you know, you're not going to have any problems with on those. Uh, and then hand-wise, we've got C-grips on right now. I guess because he's such a big boy, there are just some things that have been with the other figures that are not with Rocksteady because he also does not have... Oh, you know what? I think Bebop was the one who had the really, really stiff hands the last one I reviewed. And Rocksteady also seems to have pretty stiff hands. Might be troublesome to get his accessories in there. Uh, he's got a nice joint at the waist. Uh, hips are what we're seeing standard in this line. Uh, there's a swivel here. And this this swivel... Oh, sorry, let me get that out of the way. Um, the swivel here is usually kind of stuck. So I'm going to heat this up before I try and move that. But you can see we've still got a nice range of motion with the hips there. Uh, single jointed knees, but that get a nice degree of bend. Uh, and then there is a swivel there as well. Uh, and as for the ankles, just your standard modern ankles uh, ratcheting. Swivel there looks great. Love the boot treads on this guy. Looks really nice. Don't love how shiny his pants are. Um, and and this is this is what happens sometimes when you come across like one thing that seems a little off. It sort of starts a an avalanche of noticing little things and being maybe more nitpicky than you would normally be. Uh, but his pants just seem a little shiny to me. I'd like them to to be a little more dull, uh, but. Still looks fantastic, and you can get him in sort of that squat pose like the original figures were. I love how huge his head is. He looks great. He's got the spine going on there, uh, sculpted, painted tank top with the texture on it. Look at the texture on that tank top. It looks great. Um, and, of course, his belt with... And, by the way, moving this guy around, he is sturdy. All of his joints are very sturdy. He moves nicely. Everything looks great. Uh, he's got his web belt with the turtle shells on the side. He's got the cargo pocket sculpted on his camouflage pants. The camo on the pants looks great. Uh, I, I'm, look, I'm happy with this guy. I think he looks great. He looks like I want Rocksteady in this Ultimates line to look. He's articulated like I wanted the Rocksteady figure I had when I was a kid to be articulated. I'm happy with this figure, but there are just a couple of little things I think. Oh, look at that. The uh, buttons on his cargo pockets are painted as well. I wonder if he's got buttons. No, no, uh, no pockets back here. Uh, but still, nice touch. I like that. Uh, and also the paint on the rivets and the clasp on his belt. Little, little bits of detail that look great and that really do bring these figures uh, into the modern era. So, I mean, he looks fantastic. He's heavy and huge. Figure looks great. I'm just a little surprised by some of the things that I'm perceiving as omissions, but that, again, what, you know, extra hands, well, they're going to go in a plastic bag. What are you going to do? I love the bullets uh, on the bracelet there. And then the other bracelet, uh, just a watch type thing. He's got the stitches, or I get really staples from that war wound. Really looks fantastic. The level of sculpted and painted detail on this guy is great. So let's take a look at his accessories. Uh, we have the sprue, just like the original figure had, that has the machine gun, the grenades, the sewer shield, and the big combat knife. 
So let's take a look at these pieces. Obviously, the knife looks fantastic. Well painted, lots of sculpted detail. Uh, really great looking knife. Uh, the grenades also look great. Sculpted and painted detail is very nice. But then we get to his machine gun, which it, it has, I guess, a metal. Okay, it does have... Okay, well, first of all, I said machine gun, and it made it very clear on the back of the box that this is a retro mutagen gun, uh, so it is not a machine gun. And I don't know if you can really tell or not, but this does have paint on it, and then the scope, the grip, and the barrels are just dark gray. So it is painted, there's just not a lot of contrast. I'm trying to decide. Yeah, it is. A little more contrast would have been nice. Would have made this piece pop a little bit more. Uh, and then, I don't know about getting in his hand. Yeah, gosh, I really feel like this guy should have had a trigger hand. This is, you know, this is basically just what you had with this guy when I was a kid. A trigger hand would have been really nice. Uh, you know, this works, but I feel like it was a little bit of a cut corner to think, okay, well, that's fine. He'll just have his hand like that. Uh, and then we've got the manhole cover shield that may or may not fit into this hand. Yeah, I'm going to have to heat that hand up to get it to really hold the shield. Uh, and even so... I don't know, this, I, I was going to say that this seems small, but maybe it doesn't. This might be about the right size. What's weird about this, though, is it's got, it looks like the same as the garbage can lid, uh, just with the sculpted city sewer on the front, which I'm, I feel like the original Rocksteady had a hand, more of a handle, like a, um, that wasn't attached like a garbage can lid, but still looks great. I like it. Uh, Maybe I'll get that to fit in his hand. Maybe I won't. And I, actually, you know what? I'd kind of rather him hold the knife anyway. Let's see if we can get the knife in that hand. There we go. All right. Not bad. Okay, so see, you can see what I'm saying. The figure looks phenomenal. They did a great, great job. Uh, my only critiques, like I said, we really should have had a trigger hand. Uh, and I, honestly, I'd rather have... Like, these are just regular closed fists, and that's cool. That's great. But, you know, if I'm being honest, I, well, I'd rather have the trigger hand than this hand. That's the change that I would have made is because a default trigger hand can still hold a knife or a shield, but a regular hand cannot look right holding a gun. Uh, not in the modern times. When I was a kid, that's just how it was. But now... I expect a little better. Okay, so, end result, though, Rocksteady looks fantastic. I'm stoked to put him on my bad guy's shelf. I think Super 7 did a mostly great job with this guy. Uh, there are just a couple little things that are a little baffling to me as to why they didn't do a better job. Uh, but he's awesome. He's huge. He's Rocksteady, and I'm happy to have him. Thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about Needless Things. And remember, the Needless Things podcast is available every Friday here and wherever you get your podcasts. Boy, Rocksteady's not going to say cowabunga. Rocksteady's just going just gonna to shoot you with his retro mutagen rifle. Smash that like button if you like Needless Things.